Farrah, what's poppin', my nigga? Farrah got it on the beat. Set them right here. Yes, sir. I'll tell you what I'm about. Y'all see what's going on. Y'all see what's going on. Got the gas here. Other one. Y'all just stay tuned, bro. I might not even do no goddamn. Um, I ain't gonna do no fly by or the stop. Y'all know how it sound, man. Cause I don't even want to get hot for real, for real. So I'm gonna just wait and just do it later once we got the head. So I'm gonna do a fly by like that. So y'all stay tuned, man. It' gonna be a little long or something like that, but I'm trying to film a little bit of the process. So y'all stay tuned, man. Like the video, make sure you subscribe, make sure you comment. Yeah, so I got one side jacked up already. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest. I'm not gonna vlog this. I'm just gonna show y'all that I did get it up in the air. So yeah, alright, gang. My bad. I'm breathing hard. I'm tired, but we don't got the car jacked up as y'all see. Um. If you're working on your car and you land on the ground, make sure you get some cardboard so you don't be laying on the hard ground. Right now, I gotta go in there and cut my pipe, which is my cats from my regular pipe because, yeah, um, somebody decided to cut off the bolts that hold it, so now I gotta cut it. So I'm looking for, I gotta get a 15 so I can break those bolts. I think it's a 15, 15 or 16. So I'm going there and break it. Um, cut it and drop it out. Alright, gang, as y'all see, I done moved the Cadillac converter. I gotta get these bolts right there. Um, for the top, for the bottom, these, this side gonna be harder. That's why I started with the passenger side. The driver side is easy because everything right there. Um, I'm gonna try to make that work though. Alright guys, so everybody ain't gonna tell you, man. I done got two on out now, as y'all see one right here and one right there. I'm finna go to that third one that's right there. You're gonna need a 3 8 bro. A 10 not gonna work. I broke it with a 10, but that 10 not gonna work, man. You're gonna need the 3 8 So make sure y'all use the right one because y'all don't wanna strip this out. So I think I got the four out at the bottom. Unless um this side got five, because I had to Take out the oil, the oil stick. Well, I didn't really take it. I just moved it to the side. Um, Cause that boat is holding the header on. So I gotta get that one and I gotta get the ones at the top. So if that dipstick on um, boat don't count, I got four more at the top. And one, let me see, one, two. And gonna be one more at the bottom. I'm gonna try to get them from the top because I don't see a way I can go on this side. My bad, cause that light is on. I don't see a way that I can go on this side to get them top. I can't even squeeze my hand up there. But I did have to move the starter out the way so I can get all this. Ever since I moved the starter, bro, like I've been able to put my hand up there and do whatever I gotta do. Um, all my wires to the side right here. I took out that knock sensor, so when I put the um, long tube header in, it won't be in the way. Uh, what else? I unplugged the harness thing from that one right there. And that's about it, man. As y'all see, this motor is pretty clean. So, yeah. Here go the cat, man. The cats. I had to got they cut it, man. Cause whoever had my copper phone, they got they cut off the got they boat that hold it. And everybody would keep thinking I was cat. Well, get it. Let me take it to the guy. Like, everybody who thought I would get it, man. They in there, bro. I don't know if you can see them or not, because the sun's shining like a mug. But they are in there, bro. They definitely in there. You know what I'm saying? My car just loud. I don't know how. 
It was just loud. Y'all yeah, see the cone in there, man. Man, that junk is way harder than what people are saying. Way harder than what people are saying, bro. Way harder. We're going to get it, though. Still gotta put in three bolts on this passenger side. It's the only side we done did so far, bro. And I say this is the hardest side. I done, I watched a whole bunch of videos and people were saying passenger side, passenger side, passenger side, passenger side, that it was hard to do. You know what I'm saying? So that aside, I started, I decided to start with, and it was actually a good idea because we actually done right now, pretty much, but we just gotta tighten three more bolts. Tighten those bolts. Um, one of the bolts is gonna be easy to tighten. I just ain't tightened it yet because that's what the um, the oil stick go on. So I moved that out of the way, you know what I'm saying? So we gotta tighten two of them and they hard to get to. Passenger side, real tight. Driver side, real easy. So that's why I say that for last. Yeah. But as you see, you know what I'm saying? You see them silver. I'm still pipes right now, man. We went from these little stock things. We went from these. I'm trying to let y'all see the whole thing. We went from down right there to these, bro. You know what I'm saying? With the catalyst mid pipes. So, hey, man. Pop said he don't think he's going to be loud. I tried to build him. He said the only thing he's gonna do is breathe better. So he don't think we finna be loud. But I don't think he understand that we ain't finna have no cats, you feel me? So, and we already straight pipe, so. That's why I did this. I told y'all we finna be the loudest SRT8 out here. You know what I'm saying? Done playing, you know what I'm saying? After this, I am done with the um, car for a long time. There's no need to do any more mods after this for a minute. You see me? So we just gonna do this. And what else I gotta do? One more thing I gotta do. Oh, get the tune. That's it. Hmm. Yeah. That ain't what it do, man. It is currently 817, man. And we're like 98% done with the passenger side. We still gotta do the driver side. I might be done for the night, though. I ain't gonna lie. Might be over it. Not gonna lie to y'all, gang. This is like a whole nother day in the nighttime, right? And I'm still like working on this guy thing. Passenger side is done, though. Only thing I gotta really do is tighten up these ignition coils. Actually lost the boat, so we got thing go get one of my old motor. Somebody yelling, but I'm gonna go get one of my old motor and put it on here. Um, for the driver side, I had to shave that. I had to shave the shield, you know what I'm saying, to get the header to not hit nothing. So, and the wife and the guy, they put that in, you know what I'm saying, she gonna help me out, put them bolts in, because my hand is swole from getting into a tight spots on this driver's side. I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna, this is like one of the hardest projects I did. The motor was even easier than putting the long two headers in. I swear. But we're gonna go ahead and knock this out. I really need to hit auto zone or something so I can put the mid pipe in the right way. But I don't know if they're gonna be open tomorrow because tomorrow is Easter. So I'm hoping that I'm able to give y'all boys some content on this. Can't really do it with one hand. 
But as y'all see, both of the manifolds are out. The cats are out. I had to cut them because whoever had the car before me cut off the boat. That was for my bad, y'all. Whoever had the car before me cut off the boat for the manifold to connect to the other pipe. So they welded this on to the other pipe, man. So I had to end up cutting that with a grinder. I guess that's what you call it. Uh, I already got one, one header in. I just got to get the catalyst mid pipe in. I got this side to put in. Then I got... Um, Catless mid pipe to put in. Gotta get these old two sensors out and put in the um the header, the new header, and the catless mid pipe. So we pretty much um got everything done. If anybody need some um headers or mid pipes, y'all get at me. Uh, the comb is still in here. Um, as y'all see. Still in there. I was never good at or anything in that nature. But let me show y'all what I'm talking about over here. I ended up cutting this shield. As y'all see, I cut all that right there. And I cut all that on the other side because it was hitting it. So my wife come back out. She's trying to get this, our son to sleep right now. When she come back out, I'm gonna see if it's gonna hit anything. And since my car been jacked up like this, I've been noticing my coolant's been leaking. I'll show y'all how much it's gone. As y'all see, it is right here. It's supposed to be up here. Yeah, about right here. So this much coolant is gone. So I gotta get me a water pump. So that will be next because it is leaking all in this area right here, as y'all see. I don't know exactly where it's leaking from. But I'm just going to replace the whole water pump and get a 180 degree thermostat. Um, what else can I show y'all? <laughs> I really don't know. But look, man, while I was out here working, my son ended up stretching my car from right here all the way over here to right there. And ended up stretching the driver's side. My boy started from like, I can't really see. Oh, my boy started like from right here and came all the way up here, as y'all see, all the way to like up here. But I ain't tripping, cause I'm gonna get the car buff. It's not deep, so it will be able to come out. So hopefully when I buff the car, the black comes back to life. If not, we just gonna wrap the car, man. We not even worrying about it. Um, my wife helped me pick out a dope color. Um, I think it's going to be Fido. But I really want to get all the dings out before I wrap it. Because on the hood, as y'all see, the hood does show everything that's wrong. So, yeah, man. We're going we gonna to probably find us a good body shop, get all the dings out. Uh, try to at least. I really want a paint correction, and it will handle all that. Y'all see why I met with it, man. It's really not gonna take us that long to to um to do that driver side long tube header because it's like right there in your face. I'm glad I watched videos because the passenger side was the hardest, so I started with the hardest. And as I showed y'all in the video, man, my hand barely goes through that hole. So y'all can only imagine how my hand felt after I got done. And still, and still to like now, it's still like killing me, gang. Um, I'm sorry I didn't get y'all as much content as I wanted to. It was really a pain, bro. Like, I'm not lying to you guys. Like, I realized I was like, I don't know. I was really stressing, bro, because I didn't think I was gonna get it done. I'm gonna cut this camera off so I can finish and I'm gonna put the other header in. Probably not gonna. I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all like me. Let me see what I'm gonna show y'all. I don't know. Y'all stay tuned, bro. I'm, I'm definitely gonna show y'all the bottom of the motor like I did the passenger side. And I'm gonna try to record a little bit of me putting the header up and hanging.
hanging it and showing y'all before I show the boats in. So, yeah, y'all stay tuned, man. Hey, man, it is going on the third day. Hey, man, if y'all know what you're doing, y'all get somebody to do these long two bellies for y'all, bro. Because this passage aside is like a 30 out of 10, but I kid you not. But I am now done with the passage aside. Uh, the driver's side, got dang, I'm gonna put it in now. My wife gonna help me out real quick. Man, tell me, bro. Start with that passenger side first, because this side, way easier. Like, I can access more on this side, bro, compared to this. Like, no hand room, dog. You feel me? Y'all, this ain't gonna never guide your own, man. I ain't gonna never guide your own. All right, let me tell y'all too, I could have been done, but it hasn't been a rush because I've been off. So I haven't been rushing to do this project, you know what I'm saying? Don't rush to do something that you you take real, what I wanna say, I don't know. <laughs> but y'all know what word I'm trying to search for, bro. But take y'all time with something that y'all really love, man, because you don't wanna rush it and have to go back and got there and redo something. So I know I got the insult this side good. I should have no leaks on that side. You feel me? All right, man. So we got both sides in. The headers, uh, I say, like I said, on the passenger side, it's a 30 out of 20. It's kind of hard to get your hand in there. You got big hands. You can show them. So we do have the headers on both sides. Like you can see them right there. You come from this side and see it better. You can see them right there. You can see them down there. Like I said, so make sure you know what you're doing when you're doing this process. Right now, I'm just putting everything back together. I'm kind of happy now because it's pretty much done. I just got to put the um, Captain's mid pipes in there. This is right here. And I got to put that back in that box. And I got these clamps that I brought a while back that I'm going to use because my car don't have the, the clamps that's for the mid pipe, so that's what I call it. So, here we go. I gotta take these, throw two sensors out of here, out of the old Cadillac, the burgers, put them in the Catalyst mids and the headers. Gotta put the can and air intake back on there, right there. So, gotta put that, gotta put that back on there. That. Put the battery up, it's a done deal, you feel me? So, like I said, this process was pretty long. This is the third Girl, day. Um, it wasn't a rush or nothing like that either. Um, if you're not doing like mechanical work, you should be able to do this. So, don't let nobody tell you to take it to the shop. But that's all I had to let y'all know. They are in here. Um, we're gonna get a cold start morning because it's too late right now. It's actually wait, like three o'clock in the morning. Alright, so yeah, they're gonna be it though. She getting cold, so I'm letting away. So Alright gang, so it's the same day, just later in the day. Uh I connected everything else. I just gotta connect again the air filter and I oh, think we're gonna be done up here. So gang we got thing get a cold start the open headers real quick. Side they jump sound. There you go, bro. Mm -hmm. Get behind. That's how they jump sound.
Nephew, look at nephew, man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you like that, boy? That's my boy. He's been out. He's been on the adventure, <laughs> boy. He's been gone. He's ready to go home, G. Look at him. He, he like that shit, boy. He like, why you know it, boy? You know, boy? <laughs> look at that goddamn Paul, boy. You like that shit, boy. Eye closed. I know where it's at, boy. You, I don't know when you was little, man. That's how I was. All right, let go hand. See how this thing gonna sound, man. We got it hooked all the way up. Might have a little leak. I gotta get something welded on them, but see how they sound. SRT8 in the city. They're gonna quiet down. They're gonna idle down. They're good. Man, that don't sound good, gang. Too loud for me. Gray, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go over there, Gray. Hold on, Dad. I gotta get him out of the way. All right. Damn! <laughs> that shit loud. That shit loud as hell. He don't like that. My pop don't like that shit. <laughs> Baby, cry, man. It's okay. Hey, gang. <laughs> I think we accomplished our goal. <laughs> That'd be loud as crap. Yeah, I don't hear no leaks up here. So you gonna work on the call with daddy, boy. All right, gang, so what y'all think, man? Do y'all think we are comfortable to our goal or not? Do you think we're the loudest SRT in the city now or not? If you like this video, man, make sure you like this video. That's probably going to be it for this video. Um, I'm going to do another video with some pulls and all that, so I'm definitely going to have y'all. I'm going to get down there with you. Lay down. Lay down. I'm about to get down there. But, yo, that's it for this video, man. Make sure you like. Make sure you come in. Make sure you subscribe, man. And if you like these type of videos, man, make sure you subscribe if you do. Some of you, man going up for the rest of this year this the end of this year man we're gonna try to at least have 10k subscribers man i'm, I'm just put it out there that's my goal 10k subscribers by the end of this year so make sure y'all made that happen man